Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa, this is your first time here. And if you're not, welcome on back. Today I'm doing a seven month, I think, review of this wig from RPG Show. Uh, so let's get right into it. First, let's get into the price of this wig. I got this hair, this unit, whatever you wanna call it, um, from their clearance section. So I think I probably paid like 264, which is a great deal, but you know, it's still expensive, especially if you don't have money like that. Like I didn't have like that, but I got it anyway for a gift for myself. <laughs> um, so, I mean like everyday, everyday people who want to buy wigs is, is not the most affordable company. We all know RPG show is you know very top tier very very high end so you're gonna pay good money for your unit but what i will say is that you do get what you pay for i spent a good buck on this hair I feel like the quality is definitely holding up um as you can see it still looks pretty nice i just went ahead and washed it blow dried and flat ironed it so it could be nice and fresh for this video and i'm planning to wear it again really really soon so i want to make sure everything was looking nice um, so yes, the quality of the hair is still the same. I don't get many, um, what do you call it? It doesn't shed. I just run my hair through this right now and it didn't shed at all. It's very easy to comb through. I can brush through it really easily with no problems. It's very, it's very, it's very good quality hair, which again, it should be since you're paying so much money for it. Um, styling is very easy to style. It can curl easily. It can straighten back easily. Uh, I think I've been wearing it um, straightened for the most part just because curling takes so long and I'll curl it for an event or like for graduation, whatever have you. Um, but usually I like to just get up and just put it on and go. And it's so easy. I love it because I don't have to put on any glue. I don't have to jump my edges down. I can literally just put this on like a hat, <laughs> make sure it looks nice and flat or whatever, and just go. Now, it is lace all around, if you guys can see the lace. So, if I had wanted to glue it down, I'm looking at my mirror right here, guys. If I wanted to glue it down, I could, and then maybe, you know, have some curls like that or whatever the hairstylist people be doing, whatever whatever have you but i'm a very low maintenance very simplistic girl so whatever i can do whatever style i can have without having to do too much to it too much um maintenance or anything like that then that's the style that i'm going to choose i'm going to go that route so again i do not have to wear any got to be glue i don't have to do any of that um as far as size goes this is a size medium, which is one size too big for my head. I have a very small head. Um, but of course, when I ordered it, I, um, I think they had emailed me afterwards saying they only had medium. So I just went ahead and got it. They, they do have adjustable straps. So usually what I do is I'll just go ahead and um, clasp the straps together, which I will do now if I can get them. Ow, that hurts. Okay, sometimes I can get them, sometimes I can't, but the straps do help if you have a small head. Oh, maybe I should have showed y'all the straps. Okay. Okay, so there. So now I have the straps on, which makes it tight. I'm, I can feel a band around my head. But also what I did, I went ahead and I sewed on an elastic band to it from right here to here, I measured my head and cut it like two centimeters shorter than my head measurement so it could, you know, strap on properly. And that way I don't have to clasp the straps. So I'm going to unclasp them right now because they're actually too tight and I feel like my head is being squeezed. So right now I just have my band on in the back and that's how I'm just holding my hair to my head. It doesn't move, it doesn't shift throughout the day. My hair is not pulling back or forward or moving around, whatever, whatever. Um, the parting, the parting is fine. The parting is nice. You can, I don't know if I need to pluck. You guys tell me if I should pluck this or not. Let me see if I need to. Mm. 
maybe I maybe I need to go in and pluck it some more but I mean I haven't really had too much complaints it looks pretty natural I think so I have not put concealer on my actual part you can see my wig cap but I haven't put concealer on my actual part um, sometimes I wear it like this as a side part for graduation I did wear it as a middle part down here part that way and then I had curled um, the whole unit which looks pretty good I put a picture up so you guys can see um, yeah what cons I will say I don't really have much only thing I don't like about it is the price but that just that's just from let me just put some moisturizer so I can tame these flyaways the price is just comes from RPG show as a company you know you want good quality here you're gonna have to spend good quality money I do wish it was more affordable though just like um my first wig because they're sister companies my first wig is supposed to be for people who you know obviously a first time wig wearers so if you're buying a wig for the very first time and you probably don't have any information about it you don't want to spend two three hundred dollars on your very first wig especially if you don't really know what it's going to look like if you're going to like it you know whatever have you so i do think that they should probably go back and you know rework or think about their pricing and their audience especially with the two different companies like companies like rpg show i could definitely understand you know however much money well some of the wigs honestly is like five hundred dollars so i got to keep burping but the wigs are five hundred dollars and who has money like that everyday people don't have money to spend five six hundred dollars on a wig like I, I really wanted a wig a new wig for black friday's blonde cute long curl wavy whatever super 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 cute but super expensive and like who can afford that and i hate it when they give you the baseline price that say it's like 335 whatever but then if you want the color added on like how the picture is exactly exactly how the picture is that's another plus 100 dollars and then if I want it 20 inches long, another plus 85. You know, it's just, why are we keep adding prices? If we're gonna advertise the wig as is on the picture, then the price should already be included with all of that things. You know, does that make sense? So anyways, overall, I'll give this wig um, a plus two thumbs up. This is my best wig that I have. Again, my most expensive wig. <laughs> But you know, for what I paid for, I'm happy with what I got. So what I recommended, I mean, it's up to you, you know, if you, you it's up to you. <laughs> if you really want a good quality wig, then I would say, you know, go ahead and invest the money into it. But guys, let me know what y'all think again about this wig. And if you haven't already watched my, my um, unboxing of this wig, I'll link it here. Make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend, comment down below, and as always, stay tuned for my next video, guys.